Welcome back guys to our solo Clefairy metronome only run of Pokemon Yellow for the original Game Boy. It's time to finish off the Viridian Gym. We have a trainer right over here, it's a black belt. I believe this black belt trains two Machokes and a Machop. I'm the Karate King, your fate rests with me. No, the Karate King is actually in Johto. On Mount Mortar or whatever, Mortar. So, you lie, you're impersonating the Karate King, you phony. Alright, Solar Beam. It's actually not too bad. Should be powerful enough to take out the Machoke. Excellent. Next up should be the Machop. See what we can get for it. Okay, we're gonna lower his accuracy. Here we go with the stat boosting and stat lowering moves. There we go. Just need one more attack now. There we go, nice. Machop is now down and out. He should have one more Machoke. Yep. We can get a move like Psychic, that'd be nice. Mega Drain isn't too bad. We got some pretty good health back for it. Alright, we're gonna raise our defense, which I guess is actually a good thing right now because of how it's been being lowered. Did a little more damage than I thought it would. If Rap keeps this up, we'll finish off Machoke. So long as it hits one more time, we'll be okay. Alright, nice. Machoke is now down and out. Aya! Alright, time for the next trainer. Heh, you must be running out of steam by now. Nope, actually I just went to the Pokemon Center. So the joke's on you, cool trainer. Alright, you got a Sand Slash. Let's see what we can do about Sand Slash. Hopefully a good Ice, Water, or Grass type move happens. Well, Payday isn't too bad. It gets us a little bit of extra cash, so I guess it's okay. Let's see what we get now. I doubt that that'll finish off Sand Slash. Wow, that didn't even do as much as I thought it would. That did really little damage. I doubt we'll finish off Sand Slash like that. We might actually. Depending on if we get it one more time or not. Nice! Alright, let's see what he has now. A Doug Trio. A physical attack would be good because Doug Trios don't really have that great a defense. Okay, we're gonna try to zap him with Thunder. That would have been good. May as well use metronome again. I considered healing, but... Okay. Alright, now where, Dugtrio? I'm gonna risk it and use Slash. Alright, good, we got the first move. Excellent, nice. I ran out of gas. Roar, I'm working myself into a rage. Grr, me too, yeah. Like, grr, grr. Okay, I'll shut up. Anyway, he sent out a Machop. Let's see if we can't work that Machop into a rage. Too bad we didn't get the move, Rage. I kind of would have laughed. Let's see what we get. 
Okay, we're gonna raise our defense, which I guess isn't a bad idea since we're fighting a fighting type. Okay, I think you've used enough stat affecting moves here, Clefairy. That doesn't mean to use Splash either, okay? Or Teleport. Okay, Sleep Powder isn't too bad, at least we got something out of it. Let's try to get a damaging move though. Okay, Aurora Beam isn't too bad. Aurora Beam, I mean. Forgot, forgot to put the little Rage in there. Alright, Water Gun finished him off. We're bringing guns into this battle now. Alright. See what we can do about this Machoke. We're gonna stomp on his face. Now we're gonna scratch him. Being brutal, Clefairy, stomping on him and scratching him. Level 56 for it, though. Warg! Alright, we don't have that many trainers left. Pokemon and I, we make wonderful music together. Interesting. Alright, Tamer, let's see what you got. Got a Rhyhorn. I think that the next trainer only has one Pokemon, and that's also a Rhyhorn. You think that they just would have given one trainer two Rhyhorns instead. Whatever, though. Hopefully we get a good move to take out Rhyhorn with. If we have enough PP left over, we'll just go ahead and take out the next trainer before making another trip back to the Poke Center. Hey, not the best move to get on a Rhyhorn, but we'll see what happens. Didn't do much damage. Hopefully we get something better. Alright, there we go. Ice Punch. Finish that off. I think we have enough PP to take out the next Rhyhorn. You are in perfect harmony. The truly talented win with style. I win however Clefairy decides it. So yeah. If y'all are wondering what that item is, it's right below where I'm at. It's a revive. I'll probably get it and sell it. This is our last trainer and wow, we finished off that Rhyhorn quick. Next up will be Giovanni. I lost my grip. Alright, time for the gym leader. Fwahahaha, <laughs> this is my hideout. I plan to resurrect Team Rocket here, but you have caught me again. So be it. This time I'm not holding back. Once more you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. Well, I guess you have to be one of the greatest, at least to be a gym leader. So you're partially right, but you're not the greatest trainer. That would be me, with Clefairy power. Whatever the case, he sent out a Doug Trio first, and we're gonna bone club it without a bone. Alright, let's see what we get now. Alright, well, we're gonna be a Diglett for this, or Doug Trio, I mean, for this battle. Let's use Dig. Okay, that got us somewhere. Are either of us gonna hit one another? There we go. Finished off Doug Trio. Alright, Persian. I think I wanna try to take out Persian with Fisher. Okay, it might be a little hard to do that, but I'm gonna keep at it. At least until I run out of Fishers. Alright, there's two that didn't hit. Three that didn't hit. We only have two more chances. There we go. Finished off Persian. One hit KO. Alright, Nido Queen, I think that a earthquake will take you out just fine. Of 
course, we had to leave her with just a little bit of health, but that's okay. We'll finish her off with Dig. Excellent, there we go. He now has a Nido King. We'll just take out the Nido King with Earthquake. We're level 57, which is awesome. Nice. Took out Nido King with one hit. All right, now he has a ride on. Let's try to use Fisher. <laughs> All right, nice. Gotta be honest, I really didn't think Fisher would work, but I went for it anyway, and I'm glad that it did. Ha, that was a truly intense fight. You have won. As proof, here is the Earth Badge. The Earth Badge makes Pokemon of, all, of any level obey. It is evidence of your mastery as a Pokemon trainer. With it, you can enter the Pokemon League. It is my gift for your Pokemon League challenge. TM27 is Fisher. It will take out a Pokemon with just one hit. I made it when I ran the gym here too long ago. Having lost, I cannot face my underlings. Team Rocket is finished forever. I will dedicate my life to the study of Pokemon. Let us meet again someday. Farewell. Alright, before we move any further in the game, we're going to make a couple of quick stops and grab a few hidden items. Here we have an elixir, as you just seen. And there's another hidden item over here to the right on the fence. Got an ether. Alright, time to retrieve an item that we couldn't get before here in Vermilion City. It's against the side of this house over here. We got a Max Ether. Here on the fifth floor of the Pokemon Tower we missed an item. We now have an Elixir. Alright, our next destination, as you can see, is back on the cycling route. We missed a couple of items on the way to Fusion earlier, so we're going to make a quick stop and get those. Line up with this trainer right here, and uh, there, there's an item, but since you're going so fast, you're bound to miss it, so take your time, maybe use your brakes, and search each block that you go. There we go, we got us a PP up. That will definitely help. Alright, but that's not all that's here on the cycling route. We have another item. Alright, over here. Careful of that trainer. There's another item that's hidden along this little part right here. Let's try to get it. There it is. Max Elixir. Alright, back on the fifth floor of the Silif Company, we missed an item hidden in a plant right here. We now have an elixir. Alright, we are now on a route that we never traveled on earlier. I always go with bird Pokemon, and I always go with Clefairy Power. This right here is the path that you would be taking if you went south of Lavender on your way to Fusia. We didn't take it because this is the longer of the paths. We just took the cycling road. But in order to get the item that's hidden along this route, we have to deal with this here bird catcher, of course. He shouldn't take very long, though. The item that we get is a PP up, so it's definitely worth it. So let's see what we can do about this Pidgeotto. We can uh, eat an egg to recover six whole HP. I guess a good breakfast is a health uh, is a healthy breakfast or some crap. Pidgeotto's over there like pecking itself or some crap. We gave it we gave it some money for a good show. All right, Spiro. A little bit of overkill, don't you think, Clefairy? Maybe you should tone it down next time.
There we go. You toned it down a little bit. I'm proud of you, Clefairy. Although, don't do that in a big battle. Out of power. The PP up is hidden right over here. Alright, with all the item hunting that we needed to do out of the way, we are now back in Viridian City. We are now headed to the west towards Victory Road. With all the eight gym badges, we are now ready to take on the Elite Four. But that is it for this part.